Tis the season to shop from the safety of your couch for that perfect holiday gift. And Nancy Giles has a notion of just where that search might begin. Because of COVID-19, a lot of people are staying at home buying things online. And a lot of people are in their homes making things to sell. That's a perfect situation for Etsy, an e-commerce website where 70 million people shop for bathtub toys, mailboxes, pet costumes, vintage wedding dresses, and candles. I'll make probably about 30 to 50 candles a day because everything that we have, we make to order. Amber Lee Isabella makes okay. candles in her basement in New York's Hudson Valley. And you want to make sure that you pour everything really slow. It was all her mom's idea. Amber Lee and Elizabeth had never tried this before. So then she bought all the candle supplies and we learned how to make candles off of YouTube. Yeah, there's an awful lot of fails before you before you get it right. But they did get it right. So this is a little bit of a uh, the tedious process. Um, and now they create 125 different soy based candles that celebrate birth months, states, and cities. Each individual candle not only has its own story, but it's actually got its own particular scent. And that's why the five-year-old company is called Scripted Fragrance. Their dog candles are very popular. Does that candle smell like a dog? <laughs> <laughs> that is a popular misconception. <laughs> I happen to love beagles. And there is a candle with a scent that captures the essence of Beagle. A heartwarming blend of friendliness and curiosity with an endless supply of love and energy. And it's actually one of our strongest scents because they have one of the loudest barks. <laughs> <laughs> and like thousands of Etsy sellers, they turned what began as a side interest into full-time jobs. There are over 3 million sellers selling on Etsy and they're selling over 75 million items. And literally people can sell anything anything that they've made themselves or designed. You can buy everything from the cushion to the couch on Etsy. Josh Silverman is Etsy's chief executive officer, and his company's stock is one of the top performers this year, surging 260%. Silverman paid attention last April when the Centers for Disease Control advised Americans to start wearing masks. One of the first things we did is we put out an APB calling all sellers. If you have a sewing machine, start making masks. In the second quarter of this year, Etsy sellers sold over $375 million worth of masks. The masks have saved my business. I will Seriously? say that. Seriously? As I'm making masks, people are asking, well, I want a matching shirt. I want a matching dress. In his compact Union City, New Jersey studio, Ruben Ruel designs domestic fashions. Everything that I do is cut, sewn, packed, and shipped right here. His grandmother in Virginia was a seamstress. Did your grandmother teach you how to sew? She did not. She was from the old school, so for boys to sew was not something that was, uh, you know, keen to her. But as a pastor's wife, the first lady of the church, her Sunday best did inspire him. Seeing her with these elaborate church hats on and she knew how to pair colors together and that was also something that inspired me in my own designs. Ruel studied fashion and came to New York to try to make his name. And Etsy came along where I told myself, well, I don't have the money to get a PR uh, company to push my brand. I don't have the money to have a showroom. I don't have the money for all this marketing. But even Beyonce has worn his fashions. It doesn't always turn over into a financial gain. Okay. But I will say it does allow the brand to have uh, credibility. So this is where she had all her materials and her threads. So mm -hmm. I use it in the same manner now. And his grandmother's thread box watches over everything Ruben Ruel sews. Just having it reminds me of, you know, a history of women who were creative in my life. And it really reminds me of my grandmother. So I love this box. Fact is, the personal connection between sellers and buyers is one of the reasons Etsy does so well. Sellers often write personal notes to their clients. So over the past 12 months, there yeah. have been over seven and a half billion dollars of goods bought and sold on Etsy. And to achieve that strong a brand, 
The folks at Etsy can be demanding when it comes to how sellers behave. There's a way that Etsy does things, and if you don't do things the Etsy way, they can kind of be punished. I think a lot of it circles around the free shipping aspect. So every buyer now expects free shipping, and sellers that do incorporate free shipping uh, are promoted more prominently, and that way buyers' expectations are met. Don't be scared of it. Perfect. Beautiful. That looks great. That's Matthew Cummings one. sells his house-brewed beer in Knoxville, Tennessee. And on Etsy, his hand-blown, remarkably shaped beer glasses. So if you'll just hold it up to the light and take a look at that, those undulations, you'll get different densities of the beer. Look at that. He actually began as a glass-blowing artist, a sculptor, but only so many people could afford his work. You know, at six to $14,000, I can't afford my own work. My friends, my family can't afford it. So a beer-loving friend suggested he make something that more people could enjoy, glasses. By 2013, he was another Etsy success story. We were back ordered by three or four months for like two years. And today, enthusiastic beer drinkers allow Cummings to combine business and art. Glass has a ton of personality on its own. It's not like you're blowing glass and you're making it do this thing. It's a conversation or a dance with another material that's very mindful. I start to make something and then I'll let the glass decide where we want to go. So these are more like jazz. His quartet of glass blowers makes 200 glasses a day. What has Etsy meant to your life? I think Etsy has been life-changing. I mean, it's, it's totally redirected what I've been able to do and expanded what I've even dreamed to accomplish. I mean, it was 100% life-changing. Okay, that's delicious. We're good. By the way, on Etsy, even the sun has style. And it's for sale.